Hello there, this is Ben AI6YR and thought I'd uh, just do a quick video of a, a very easy uh, restore actually. This is a, a old General Electric uh, tube radio and I thought I'd pop it open and let you know what uh, these look like and how to repair them. Uh, they are uh, obviously a very old safety standard. Uh, I don't think they'd ever let you sell one of these nowadays, but uh, we'll show you what they look like inside and, uh, and at least how I fixed this one. So here's the back end of that uh, of that radio. Um, this actually had a bad cord. A lot of them do. Uh, this is probably from the 1950s, and the cords just decay. Um, and uh, they they had a it's a, a two prong connector here, which I happen to uh, have another cord that actually fits this. Uh, these are not safe because they don't have three prongs. Um, however, uh, at least. Uh, uh, if you do it right, uh, you, you can get these back to a running operation and just know what you're doing and you shouldn't run into any problems. So here's the uh, back end popped open off that radio. Um, there is, uh, obviously there's a bunch of tubes here and, uh, and a speaker and there's some controls. Now this radio actually had um, two problems. One was, uh, well it's all related to the same thing is the uh, power on and off switch is burnt out. It's actually turned to a crisp. Um, and that is because the capacitors, uh, the original capacitors in these radios uh, were wax, um, wax capacitors. And wax capacitors don't last through the ages. They uh, will decay and eventually they short out. And they go and they take 120 volts <laughs> and put it to ground, which is a bad thing. So here's the main board for this uh, radio. Um, this right here is actually the antenna. Uh, let's that over there. Uh, the, the, the coil here is the AM antenna. Uh, this is the tuning um, capacitor that's used to tune things. Um, there are uh, various uh, tubes here for application. Um, and then uh, this is a transformer, and this is not a power transformer. That's used for audio transforming from a tube output. Uh, to uh, the speaker and uh, all old radios they actually have to transform the uh, signal from the uh, the impedance of the tubes down to the impedance of the speaker um, you'll see here that these are modern capacitors these replace the the wax capacitors which I already tossed um, and there's two here and there's actually two on the bottom which I, I replaced on the bottom because it was easier and that was it, actually replaced those three capacitors to get this back to life. So um, these are coils here. Um, these are coils right here. And those are um, uh, from the output of one tube to another one. They're used for transformation of impedances again. And uh, some resistors, not too many. And I didn't check the resistors. You can Usually they're out of spec, but I've never had problems with them, not on a radio like this. So, uh, never ever run a radio like this, uh, uh, like this, even though I'm showing you, I'm just showing you to show the tubes glowing. Um, most of these radios were built with an interlock on the, uh, the back cover, uh, which made sure that you couldn't actually do this, the, the cord was connected to the cover. The reason why is because there's, um, 120 volts on the board on the inside here, so if you reached in and stuck your finger underneath, then, uh, that's, uh, lethal, so, uh. Uh, that is why those are like that. But anyway, here you see the tubes going, and we'll uh, turn around and you can listen to it uh, play. Carson are over, and quarterback Philip Rivers hopes things will improve for the team after now three seasons of practically having no home field advantage. That means opposition fans outnumber and often outshout Charger fans, like in their recent 24-17 loss to the Raiders. Yeah, it was tough. So I turned off the force and lights because uh, actually interfere with this uh, radio. So. Good, and what are they going to do with coaching? That actually, I guarantee you, has made more money than Jerry Jones and actually winning, than winning games. I'm, I'm dead serious, because...
I had Pete Buttigieg on, uh, and Andrew Yang on uh, TMZ Live last Friday. And I, uh, I'm going to the television show. Frank can have a great time, and uh, you know what? These big money investors. Si su plan de jubilación es mudarse a la casa de su hijo Felipe con sus veinte. Jumped on him pretty early. You know, sometimes, you know, Chris, and you've been on champions and you've been on rebuilding teams. So there you go. An AM radio. Uh, rebuilt. I don't know. Sure, what I'm going to do with it, but <laughs> put it back to rest, uh, restore it back to uh, working condition. Uh, this has been AI6 Wire.